Hey tubers, me again. So we're digging back into the archives here today. I've done a video on this before. This is way back before I could piece stuff together. But anyways, we're dealing with a lawn boy. It's got some issues. But like when it's all put together, it looks stinking almost brand new. Lawn boy 20 inch deck, rear wheel drive, um, electric start, the battery came in dead. So anyways, the guy said that he bought it, um, what do you call it? He bought it at like a garage sale or something like that and the guy started it up and, it's, and it started right up. But, let me tell you something. This thing was worked on by somebody and then it just kind of sat. Look at this. It's got all these spider webs and stuff in there. Um, it was chugging so bad that I actually thought that maybe they hit something and that the timing was knocked off. But if you look in here, there is, that's the choke. That, that runs off of a thermostatic spring, which is down here on this thing. Well, look what happened. Look, you can tell by, this is without looking at this, see how that plastic arm makes a loop right here? It goes around. This right here is supposed to set right inside that slot. And what they did is like they took and he, that's supposed to be a little bit bigger, but anyways, they bent that right there. When it was at the yard sale, and he went to start it up, it's on full choke. Of course, it would start. But, normal operation is that this will take and push that arm. It can't move. It's just locked right in there. So, I'm going to have to take and remove the arm from over here, so that once it warms up, it will allow the choke to open up and then it'll it'll operate the way that it's supposed to but while i got it this far apart i'm gonna take and uh reset the the gap it looks a little rusty under there look can you see see the armature that's right into my finger that's all rusted up so we're going to take a wire wheel to that clean it all up and then we're going to take and set that with a ten thousandths air gap uh let me see sorry and the best way to set that air gap is to use a business card you're just taking you put that right in there and that's about ten thousands like that so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna use this because this is like a good luck charm this will make sure that it works every time so we're gonna take it set that up Look at that, and he's like, we're just, we're pimping it. Bruce. All right, I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, guys, we are back. The, what do you call it? The butterfly and everything on the, the choke was, I mean, this thing is, it must have just been sitting for so long. So that was froze. I took and I put a little carb spray, WD-40 in there. That one's working. The throttle is now working. Got to hook up this spring. I don't even know if you're in the picture. Hold on. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Okay, so now we got to take and put the, the coil back on. It's going to be this little wire right here. That's the ground wire. So when you let go of that, that safety bale, that it'll shut off. These are just quarter inch screws. Take and put this back down. There's the other one. I can tell where the some of that is the brake 
but when I went and I put a wire wheel on the, this coil armature, I could actually see that it had touched the flywheel at some point. And I'm going to tell you right now, um, the guy that brought this in here, and he goes, oh yeah, I was running, and then I was, you know, I, I put it into some deep grass, and then it, was, it wasn't having any power. There is no way that this thing ran. There's no way that it ran with the choke on it. Here's this. Can you see that? I'm going to take the zoom back out. Hold on. Okay. So here's this, that loop. I went and I, hold on. Try to give you the best angle. If you remember that what that thermostatic spring looked like on the last one. There. Come on. Right there. So I bent it back, kind of like going by memory. So when it heats up, and it does it really, really fast, when it heats up, it pushes forward like this. And then this arm, which is going to go, hold on, just like this. I'll go through on both sides and show you guys how it works. Because there's like a little nub that sticks down. It should have free movement like this. Okay. So that's. Take you out of the pod. Sorry. So that's how it. That's how it should be. So when the spring, the spring will go, and then that holds this arm forward. Watch what happens when the arm goes forward. Here it is from the top. The arm was in a locked position in the back when we first started, remember? And it was like, that was as wide as that throttle plate or that choke plate was gonna open. Now that it's on here, when that slides forward, watch the arm. The arm moves forward and it takes the choke off. Now, the rest of it can run the way that it was designed. Hold on, I'm gonna just take and put this little, can I do that one handed? I'm just trying to get that little spring on there. So that's what holds it, what do you call it? That's what holds it closed as soon as it starts up. And you know what, it's got that vein on there, so like maybe the air kind of helps it or something too. But for sure, that moves like that, that holds it open, and now it's gonna be a runner. So I'm gonna take and put all the rest of this crap back on here. I mean, uh, vitally important stuff. Oh, you know what I did not, look at the size of that. Hold on, so hard to do looking through the can. I did not set that gap yet. So hold on, let's, let's get Brother Bruce. Good old brother Bruce, still making his videos every week. Actually, it seems like he's been doing a lot lately, so that's cool. All right, so the card is in there. I'm gonna take and set the magnet right back there behind it. I'll put you back on the tripod. Hold on. There we go. It's just a quarter inch. So I'm going to loosen up this one. I'm going to loosen up this one. Uh, push it in on the flywheel. You probably heard it click. Tighten that back up. Tighten that back up. So the biggest problem with this was the last person that worked on it did not know what they were doing and was not going to say no, was not going to quit, was not, not going to give in, which is fine. But very, very deceiving, <coughs> excuse me, for uh, going to a yard sale and the guy starts it up knowing that it'll only run on choke. I'm like, oh, here you go, 125 bucks. I mean, because it looks like it's probably three times that much. But... It is what it is. 
some peoples, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm going to put all this stuff back on. You don't need to sit there and let me bore you with that. And then uh, we're going to start it up. I'll show it here running here in just a couple. Okay, guys, so here's, here's another sign of that it sat. See, like, all the rust that's in there and stuff? And so, but look at that center bolt. Right there, that's holding like the the puller assembly. He's got it in there, but normally that one that the one that goes in there is a shoulder bolt, and so it keeps everything centered. I mean, th this one's working; it's kind of working. But let me back it up. I don't know. If you, look over here at the edge. See how it's play? And it's like it. They deploy. The poles come out like they're supposed to, to to start it, but it hits. Listen, that's the wheel hitting on the inside of this. So I don't know. I don't know if I have one of those. So I'm just gonna put it back together, and then I'll explain to him what the noise is if he wants me to order it, try to find one, whatever. But yeah, that's that. It's so shiny compared to everything else. So. <coughs> Excuse me again. Yeah, it's, it's another one of them things. Okay, you guys. So now it's it's down off the lift. Um, I left the air filter cover off to show you because in all, see the the choke is whatever. Optimist, pessimist. It's partially open, partially closed. But once we start it up, that thing is, that's going to open up, and then it should just sit there and run at its normal speed. So, it was the guy that worked on it. Didn't know how to set up the choke. Here, I don't want to shut it off again. Okay, we're going to start it up. I show you guys this this is my little specialty tool that I use normally this sets on the handlebar if you work on mowers you've seen them it sets up sets down you know the the down rod like right there on the the handlebar and then the cable goes through there and like that's up for the bale or whatever you want to call it so I just took and I hollowed that up that's what holds my bale back primer it auto chokes itself should be like one or two pulls and that's it thing works pretty cool uh, and then I keep it right in here with all my specialty tools right there so anyway so now you saw like that's how it's supposed to operate when somebody hasn't monkeyed up the that spring and that choke arm and stuff so yeah um, that's about it you guys it's it's like my dad always used to tell me Questions are only hard when you don't know the answer. And so, just looking for something that I had seen in the past, that's experience, so makes it kind of easy. So, All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, thanks, Bruce. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. And uh, everybody, stay safe. We'll talk at you later. That's it.